Welcome back to our F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. This is the Vietnam Grand Prix. If you missed the past couple of episodes, it is officially season three. We've got a brand new livery. We've got a brand new engine supplier. And on the surface, it looks like we're doing really well. However, the only reason we're doing as well as we are is because our competitors have been having really, really bad races. Look at Hamilton and Bottas, P9 and P22. If it wasn't for them having really bad races, they would be well in front of us in the Constructors Championship, but for right now, we're getting pretty lucky. We're gonna keep fingers crossed and hopefully have those good races continue for the NCP squad. Anyways, we do actually have a couple of days before we arrive in Vietnam for the Grand Prix, and today a couple of things actually change because if we come over here and you take a look at Carlos Sainz, he is a 99 overall driver. He's just about as fast as you're ever gonna get him in this game, minus his experience. What that means, combined with the fact that our team is now level 20, we can ignore most of the stuff in here. We've gotta focus a lot on our morale and our car upgrades, so that's what we're gonna invest in. Every single one of our team activities is gonna be a team morale upgrade. We've gotta start rolling in those upgrades and that is what we're gonna be doing today. Keeping in that same trend, we're gonna come down over here, durability department, we again are gonna upgrade our durability facility so we can get even more upgrades going and then, we can jump over to our R&D tree where you can tell it's getting pretty tight between us. So we've got to do some upgrades. Unfortunately, we don't have too many points to actually spend on our car. However, we are going to spend 1700 on a better durability turbo. I do not want this car to explode. So we will get that going on to the car. That leaves us with just less than 700 points. We can't do any engine upgrades. The department's already full. So we'll come over here, get the front and the rear downforce finally in check, so let's get that added onto the car as well. Anyways, final little thing before we do hit the circuit today, I've been actually meaning to do this for a very, very long time. Our driver perks, we have so much money and we actually haven't upgraded any of this stuff in a very, very long time. So now we are officially maxed out. We pick up an achievement. It's time for the percolator. Purchase all the perks, thank you. And with all of that stuff done, we can now advance some time, keep rolling in that morale department stuff. The next episode, when we actually go to upgrade the team even more, okay. it is gonna be insane. I'm gonna go out, do all of our practice programs, get even more, and then I'll rejoin with you guys for qualifying. So welcome to Vietnam for a little bit of qualifying. Have I ever mentioned that I do not like this circuit? This is probably my worst circuit on the entire F1 calendar. I do not have very high expectations for today. Usually we've been trying to aim for like the top five. I think today is probably gonna be top 15. <laughs> anyway, something crazy actually happened between that Friday and the Saturday of today. The Racing Point guys have a brand new upgrade for their car and Racing Point is now faster than we are. Providing I can get around here clean though, maybe I'll be able to support my teammate a little bit. If we could get Carlos Sainz in the top five, that would be awesome. I would love to see him on the podium, but I think I'm gonna need to at least be in the top 10 if we're gonna wanna help him out, help him get through the pack. Let's see, we currently go P3. P3, we're in front of Max Verstappen behind Danny Rick. That's, that's actually not bad. I mean, hey, if that's gonna be fast enough to stick, I just kinda tried to put like a slow but steady lap in, which apparently seems to work around here. But let's take a look at what everybody else is doing in terms of lap times. Yeah, I've dropped down to P8, so we're gonna need to come out and do another lap, but that's a good start. All right, we're coming out behind the Renault in front of the bright orange McLaren. We've got plenty of time to get to the line. Let's warm up the tires and make some space in front of us. Let's get into the top 10, please, NCP. Here we go, final corner, almost hit the wall, get to the line. That was half a second green, please be in the top 10. 
Oh, P11, at least I'm gonna get some free tires. Okay, maybe that's not bad. Oh man, of course Carlos Sainz goes P2. But look at that gap, that is insane. It is so close between P2 and like P10. That is insane. All right, this is gonna be a good race. At least it's a nice sunny day out here in Vietnam. If you remember last season when we were here, it was an absolute downpour. It was so difficult to race. So very, very lucky on that front. But let's see, maybe some people have some penalties today. Valtteri Bottas starting up at the front, followed up by our teammate and Alex Albon who out qualifies Lewis Hamilton, that is insane. Those Red Bulls are super quick along with those racing points. We're starting up in P11, thank you very much. We've got Lando Norris and Max Verstappen behind us, that's pretty scary. George Russell not doing the greatest stuff. The Williams guy's actually not doing too bad. Mick Schumacher down in last and Kvyat picks up the first penalty of the season. Hey, hey, look at our race strategy for today. So we're starting on some brand new soft compound tires and then jumping on the hards on lap number 10. I think that'll be pretty good, honestly. We'll have to see what the guys in the top 10 are doing, but it's possible they might have a two stop. We'll see. So without further ado, let's go. Lean revs, clutches in, rev it up. And away we go for the Vietnam Grand Prix. Try to mitigate the wheel spin. Jeez, Lance Stroll with a crazy, crazy start. Can I find a hole round the outside? This leads back to the inside, remember? There's yellow flags. We pull a nice sneak move round the outside. Hold on, there were yellow flags there. I do want to see what happened real quick. Can I just say what a beautiful move that was for me? We kept it on the circuit. We left plenty of room for everybody. I don't see why there's yellow flags. I can't see anybody who's crashed into one another. So I, I guess it's just fake yellow flag. Yeah, everyone's going really, really slow. Hey, I'm not gonna complain with that though. That's P11 to P8 in one corner. And you have to remember as well, Lance Stroll overtook us. That was not a good start. We were just super lucky to find that hole around the outside. All right, now, we can try to make our way through the pack. We've got Danny Rick behind. He's super quick. He's actually the second fastest driver in F1. And then in front of us, we've got Pierre Gasly. We're at a Renault sandwich. Like, look at this. We're actually keeping up with Pierre Gasly beautifully. And we're running away from Danny Rick behind. I think we're actually doing pretty well out here. This is... This isn't bad. So there we go, on to lap number three. DRS is now enabled. Obviously, we're gonna be in a pretty hefty DRS train right now, but if somebody messes up somewhere along this line, that's gonna be an opportunity to get past. Let's see. Like, look at this. We are right behind Pierre Gasly. Danny Rick is no longer getting DRS off the rear of us, so now we should pull away happily from that other Renault. You can see the top speed difference too. We we definitely gotta do some upgrades to this car. It's not, not that fast anymore, that's for sure. Finally, for Pierre Gasly, look at the guys up in front too. They're battling super hard. There we go. We're gonna have the outside line on Pierre Gasly as the two Red Bulls are battling each other around the hairpin as well. There we go. Pierre Gasly's been dealt with. New pit stop strategy, lap 13 for mediums. That will do. Thank you very much, Jeff. Turn the car back down. Let's close into these Red Bulls who are wasting so much time right now. Let's go. That is exactly what we needed to have happen. So not only did we get past Pierre Gasly, but because the two Red Bulls were fighting against each other, we still have DRS. That is the perfect scenario. We could not have made that up. All right, so I guess we're going back to putting in some distance to this car. I've got to close into Alex Albon a little bit, which I seem to do really, really well around this corner here. I just feel like I can get on the brakes so much better than these guys. And providing I can get a good throttle controlled exit like I couldn't right there, I can close in a little bit. So we'll try to do that over the next couple of laps and hopefully it goes well. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Update lap number eight. 
in the Grand Prix and a bunch of people just jumped it into the pits. Okay. Anyways, I'm 1.4 seconds behind Ocon. I would imagine, actually, let me take a look real quick. All of those guys who jumped into the pits, yes, they have all jumped on soft compound tires. So two stops for all of those guys. We'll have to see if these guys go in as well. Lap nine, yes, Ocon is jumping into the pits. So is Valtteri Bottas. Yo, the NCP upgraded tire wear is now paying off for us. Look at that. We're in P1, P2 for NCP. That is amazing. All right, so I guess for now, we just put some distance in. We're going until like lap 13 or so. All right, well, here we go. Jumping into the pits, finally on lap 13. Lewis Hamilton was able to overtake me right there. But if you take a look, Carlos Sainz is now closing in. Keep in mind, every single other person in this race has to make another pit stop. It is only myself and Carlos who don't. So let's see, squad, Chuck, the, why are we changing the front wing? Come on, 6.2 seconds. Guys, I was doing so well. And now I'm really, I'm in P12, I'm in P13. What an absolute joke. What an absolute joke. Going around the outside. Around the outside. Danny Rick. Around the outside. Thank you. Up to P10. All right, lovely stuff there. Jeez. That's not how I wanted to come back out. Luckily for us, though, I don't think Ferrari has upgraded their car since season one. So I feel like we should be able to go past Max Verstappen without issue. We will see. Whoa, ho, ho. Danny Rick coming in. Okay, man, man is on a mission. Apparently I'm gonna go late on the brakes though up the inside force you around there No, 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 but maybe do we think I'm close enough to max? Whoa ho, ho, ho. See you later, but that doesn't bode very well for how fast our engine is considering how easy that overtake was Whoa, okay, the rear of the car just went whoop Anyways, next up, Lance Stroll and Kevin Magnussen. Magnussen is going to jump into the pits for some medium compound tires fairly soon. Lance Stroll is not, so two more overtakes. Let's go. Here we go. Looking good again. This time for the Alpha Tauri, though. We've got rich revs. We've got the battery turned up. Hopefully, we've got the top speed as well to get involved. I'm not really closing in as much as I would like. Take a look up the inside. He leaves it open. Thank you, Kevin. And just like that, up to P8. Thank you, Kevin. You could have closed that door on us and we would have been out of this Grand Prix. Oh, what a nice man. Oh, Lewis, Lewis, whoa, whoa, whoa. Lewis is out of the Grand Prix and the safety car has been deployed. We were just trying to catch up to Lance. And then Lewis, this is Lewis, I believe. And Lewis has decided he's finished with this Grand Prix. All right. Anyways, that's going to be the safety car deployed, which is really unfortunate. Anybody who was in front of us and needed to pit now just got a free pit stop, which sucks. We could have been in the top five, but we just got so screwed up. Oh. See you, Lewis. Ciao. Yup. Take a look at the pits. Look how many people are in there. That is insane. So there's P4 in this Grand Prix. Now that's everybody who already is on the medium compound tires. GG. Carlos Sainz is in P4. Wait, wait, Bottas was in P1. He wouldn't have had time to pit. So I'm in P3? Let's go! Oh, no, 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 Valtteri, don't do that, buddy. Valtteri Bottas still on, he's on the, let me, let me, yeah, Valtteri Bottas still on the soft compound tires. He has to make another pit stop, he has to. Um, 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 Valtteri! 
Valtteri just blew up in front of us. What did it even say? It says Bottas has significant damage go past him. <laughs> That's too funny. And just like that, you can see our luck improve even more for the NCP squad. All right, per perfect. P1, P3, and we've got Lance Stroll in the middle. Here we go, prepare to resume racing. Lance already sliding through the corners. That's probably not what he wants to see. And Carlos Sainz gets a monster jump on everybody. So we're gonna need to wait a couple of laps for DRS but hopefully we can get in front of Lance even sooner than that. Here we go, come on, reel in Lance Stroll. He's got no DRS, nobody to slipstream off of. We're gaining 0 0.3, 0 0.2. Do we go for a dive bomb up the inside? Lance isn't as kind as Kevin Magnuson was, but we somehow, somehow make it happen. It's P1, P2 for the NCP boys, with Lance Stroll very much under attack from everyone. I mean, I guess for now, we just try to finish up this race the way it is. I do not expect to catch my teammate. We will see if we can bring it home just like this. We've got six laps to go. Come on, NCP. Let's bring it home, P1, P2, let's go. All right, here we go, on to the final lap, but unfortunately, Alex Albon has got past Lance Stroll, and now we've got to run away from this man, except he is way faster than us. We know how fast that Red Bull is. Look at him, right behind me, sitting in my slipstream. This guy, no! No, no, no! Please do not go for one. 0.4 seconds, 0.3 seconds on the brakes. Nice and late, don't let him go for one. He looks up the inside, it's not gonna work right there. We're running low on fuel, running low on battery. He's gonna look around the outside. On the brakes again, we cover him off. Lovely move, now Lance Stroll's gonna slow him up. One more time, please. Purple NCP car on the brakes. Two corners left, come on. This could very well be our last time around Vietnam. There it is, there it is. Oh. P2, driver of the day, Danny Kvyat, GG, my guy, starting in last place. It's so good to see the NCP guys, P1, P2 again, that's awesome. So P1, P2 for NCP, Alex Albon in that Red Bull finishing up in P3, where's his teammate? Alcon finishing up in P17. The Mercedes guys getting no points. Mick Schumacher having an awesome race. Do you see what I mean? Even though it says we're in P1, P2 constructors, we're in P1, it's because everybody else keeps messing up. We're just getting lucky. And with that, that is the Vietnam Grand Prix for season three. Super, super good race. We have once again get unbelievably lucky. Thank you guys so much for watching though. If you guys do want to see more, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.